<clears throat> and good afternoon, baseball fans, and welcome out to beautiful Merrill Blackburn Field here on the historic grounds of England Air Park, where it's time for baseball at the burn. Special afternoon. This is a makeup game from that Tuesday night rain as the Grace Christian Warriors welcome in the Mustangs of Rapids on the hill for the Warriors today is Logan Markle, the left-handed eighth grader, will stand there ready to go pitch 33 pitches last night, but we'll come back again tonight. We'll get to our starting lineups in just a moment, but right now we'll take an opportunity to welcome in my broadcast partners for the afternoon. Of course, Chuck Perkins joins us here, and all the way from his recliner, it's Rib Sandwich Magnano in the house, and uh, Nick joins us. Nick, welcome aboard. Hey, great to be here, man. 79 degrees, feels like 80 with a south-southeast wind. 11 miles an hour and beautiful won't be raining today i don't think it feels that warm underneath this beautiful roof that we have here though oh. this is this is nice here huh that's sir excellent got well, the lid got the lid on the the porch out here and it's beautiful let's look a lot around at your defense for the warriors over in left field is cooper courtright in center field is talon epnet in right field braden wells over at third base is jack powell shortstop sees maddox adley second base will be seth cook Canyon Wright hunkers down over at first base in the battery tonight for your Warriors behind the dish. It is Cody Davis and on the hill. We told you it is a left handed eighth grader. Logan Markle has a couple of no hitters on the year already came in and really held uh, airline close, but the Warriors just couldn't get anything going on a six one loss last night, Chuck, that we saw and uh, it was just a tough game. Yeah, it, it really was. And, you know, I'm already thinking so far ahead right now, Doug and Nick, that the, the one that I really feel sorry for in this game right now is going to be Coach Josh Brown because at the end of the game, he's going to have to hear and contend with you two because I'm going to give him my headset and let y'all have at him. Well, there you have it. I know my place. I know my place. Stepping in now, we did not get a lineup up here. We should get that for you momentarily from the left side. It's a lefty-lefty matchup to start with. And that one is in there for strike one. You hear that. On the Chuck mic. I'll turn that back up. Turn the Chuck mic back up. <laughs> one thing about Markle is he will work quickly, Nick. Yeah, one thing we do know, Doug, about Rapides is they are coached by one uh, Chastin Lacaz, who was a, a Grace alum. Was, wasn't he on the state championship team? No, he was not on the he state championship. Okay. He, he was several years prior to the state championship oh, he was team. Older. Okay. On there, yeah, I think uh, he was back on the earlier earlier side of things not sure when it was maybe 11 or 12 or whatever it was from the state championship that was in 17 but his group did go deep in the playoffs gotcha is it 2-1 that i have a count at is that right yes settle in two balls two strikes on that one that was that big fastball from markle that pumps through there for strike number two Again, seems like we were just here. Wrap this up about uh, 8 o'clock last night, and here we are back for a matinee ball game. That one fouled straight back near the dish cam. And uh, Nick, uh, on hiatus from his Menard games, yes. joins us up here today. Where are the Eagles at this weekend? They're not playing this weekend. What? So they're off this weekend. Uh, have Grant at home Monday and Glenmore first first round the dish of Two big words involved that uh, that have something to do with that. That one is ground off to the right side. That's going to be bobbled there by Adelies, and they'll score that in E6 here. Two big words, uh, weather permitting. Correct. Look like we've got a lot of weather coming in. And we've been very fortunate over there because they have the uh, the turf, the whole infield's turf, so they have a good slope on the on the outfield, so it drains really well. Coach Jordan keeps the grass cut short, so haven't had that issue yet, but uh, but it's supposed to be a lot of rain between Monday and Wednesday. Indeed it is. It's going to ruin uh, Eclipse Day for a lot of folks, and we <laughs> talked about that a bit last night. Oh, my night. gosh. Runner at first base. Markle does have a good move. Pulls this from back and delivers a fastball right down the pipe for strike one. Yeah, we uh, were plenty of soap boxes last night we were Ooh, on, yes. without a doubt. Yes, and that's one, and I'm not going to even touch that that soap <laughs> box of that uh, of the Eclipse and school. We'll just... Just leave it yep. where it sits. Yep. Nothing in one the count here. That one is roped over that right field fence and down the road for a foul, and quickly Markle ahead, nothing in two. Boy, guys, watching it last night, you could hear the bat and you could hear the pitch, but in this headset, it is amplified. <laughs> Rocking, isn't it? Get it? So, are you saying your headset's it's, too it loud? Sounds like I'm sitting. It sounds like I'm sitting right behind home plate. Well, there you go. 
Markle looks over at first once again, heads back in. Now delivers this one right down Main Street. For, oh, goodness gracious. Looked like a roadblock out there, and I, I agree. If somebody from behind us heard that and said, what? Yeah. Of course wow. Not. <clears throat> one of those questionable words. One ball, two strikes. You're looking straight down the pipe there on our on our home plate cam. One ball, two strike count. Marco looks again at first. Now he'll see that one lift out into center field. And Epnet pulls that one in. Still has an opportunity, but getting in by a step or two. And that is a base hit off of Markle. And the youngster thought he had the strikeout a moment ago. Might have been a little frustration that got to him. And this is number three that stands in. I didn't have the number. If you get, oh, that's 23 that is there. And he'll have a courtesy runner come in. And again, as soon as we get the lineups, we'll get that over to you. We know he's the pitcher to catcher. <laughs> Indeed he is. I think he is the pitcher. Saw him getting loose a little bit early. We do know that Craig Chamberlain won't go today. He threw against the Warriors on a Thursday night's game. Time call. Now, I could not hear. Wow. I could not hear hear the umpires last night on on the on the screen because you had it on your phone and not on the big tv oh uh, yeah well at first it was on the big tv <laughs> okay no oh, wow. unless y'all turned it unless y'all changed it uh later in the game well know? we adjusted it just a little okay. bit to see that one swung on and missed there big fastball right by the right hander for strike one and you'll see when the home team comes up to bat we have to turn it down because they have so much music playing and it gets really loud okay so you'll you'll uh Either that or you'll jump down here and want to turn it down yourself, too. <laughs> Runners at first and second. Nobody down here. Top of the first we play. First pitch was about 132. That one lifted foul and back over that parking lot that is to the left that nobody's supposed to park in. Can I say Alan Glass since uh, Alan Glass well, you, is no longer in you business? Bring, you can. You're bringing back the old school Aces days yep. there. That's where we got it. That's where I got it from for... For our broadcast. Nothing Couldn't. into the count here. He had an 0-2 strike count on the two-hole hitter and ended up with that single. Mm -hmm. Markle looks back at second base, now appears at first. Yeah. Delivers a curveball wow. and curves over the strike zone into Davis's glove and called a ball up high. Boy, you get sure. a good look at it right here. This is... Um, you want to leave it on that one? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, Chuck, if you don't mind, I, I'd okay. like to see where... Where it goes left. Yeah, or right. I'd like to see where he's missing. Because as of now, I don't know. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think he called that one high because of how tall the battery is, but let's see where this one is. the one two offering. That oh. one is kind of fisted off. And, good, we'll, good and look, thinking. Markle does a great job of just getting out of the way because everybody would have been safe. Yeah, sorry, Doug. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Oh, you're quite all right. Man, that was <laughs> – used to. He, that is a heads-up play by Markle there. <laughs> well, I mean, and you, you saw, not, Chuck, if you can bring that back up. Yeah. We'll, on the, no, he can't. I got him last night. Uh, yeah, he didn't let me use my highlighter anymore I gotcha. because I started telestrating. Yeah. But uh, then I just – he had marker on his screen. Is yeah. all he had. Because I don't think – even though he's left-handed, he's got to pivot around. I don't think he's he's getting out there. So that was a great thinking, great play by – by Logan there. One of the things they talk about, Lowe, is that he's got such a baseball IQ. And uh, as young as he is, he's been around the game a long time. Swung on and missed. Down on strikes. And what are they going to do? Put a K on him. They're going to put a K on him. That's strikeout number one and out number one. And that'll bring cleanup hitter and shortstop and pitcher from Tuesday night, Craig Chamberlain, into the box. You know, and if this was softball, they could put, you know, the, do the other uh, musical one where they put a ring on it. But put a K on it that way. Uh, uh, Nick, you ladies. see? Nick, Nick, you see? I know my place. <laughs> I know my place, Doug. <laughs> Fastball thrown right by Chamberlain there for the first strike. That's first out, too? It was. Yeah. Okay. You see that down on our Wallace I associate scoreboard. First batter reached on an error by Adelie. Second was a clean base hit and strikeout. To the prior batter gets us to where we're at here. Top of the first we play. A few more clouds are in the sky today. Just a slight, slight little breeze, if any. You saw it moving the flag just a little bit during the anthem. Curveball in there for strike two. Maybe that's what it is, Doug. Maybe it's he, he likes the low strike compared to that one that was around the around the waist. <clears throat> and what do they tell you, Nick, about Be that? Be consistent. You just got that's right. You got to learn where yep. he's calling, and that's the strike zone. Yep. And every official 
no matter who you run into, has their own strike zone. They do. And as long as it doesn't move around, mm. then I'm okay. Everybody's okay with that. Another two strike count. Oh, that one. That one misses right over the heart of the plate for ball one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's early. Doug early. at 446sports.com. Right. What is have complaints. It's info. What is I-N-F-O. clicking? Oh, I'm sorry. What's what, clicking in my ears? That's a woodchuck chewing on that metal pipe up there where the microphone's clipped. Okay. He got hard teeth. He's got tough okay. teeth. Tough teeth. Jeez. <laughs> that's what we said. <laughs> one ball, two strike. That's Doug, why it's, it's a little out. Doug bit well, on that hey, one the hey, other night. That's, that's the one that. That those last two pitches are the ones that they called strikes against Seth <laughs> wow. a couple, couple wow. of Saturdays ago. You're exactly right. Watching that at home, man. Y'all didn't know Good how gracious. bad I wanted to text about that, but I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna do that to my boys. Get them. Don't add fuel to the fire. Indeed, two ball, two strike count there to Chamberlain. Runners at first and second. You see them. I'm just glad Seth didn't let that bother him because he's been on a on a on fire a since here. Yep. We do a great job of getting trouble on our own. We don't yeah. need other. Swung on through that one and missed. And down on strikes and back-to-back batters. That is back-to-back strikeouts following the error and the base hit. And that's one thing about Lowe is that you want to get him settled in, get him through that first inning. It's similar to those old-school 90s Braves pitchers, Maddox and Glavin and, and the like. Your chance was to get to him early, and that was it. I mean, this would be this would be this would be big. Yeah. I mean, if he can if he can get through this, and you get a good look at Adelie's and the runner at second base. Markle lifts, fires this one. That's a good curveball. Misses outside. It, yeah, it was. Out. Yeah. I guess it's a. All right, Chuck. You can you can change it. Unless Doug's still looking at it because no, it, I don't look at him during the air. It's, it's not making. It's not making me feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not missing it, huh? No. Well, no, I am missing it. That's oh. the thing, because those those last three were outside, and from here they look good. That one in there. Strike one evens things up with a ball and a strike. That's what it is. See, I, I moved the camera. He calls it a strike. Yeah, so that's, it that's it. That's it. His, his earbud that he hears 446 yeah. Sports in his ear while he's calling the game. Indeed he does. Shout out to my buddy, principal at Rapids, Jeff Hickman. He's watching us. He's getting ready for a wedding. I said, hey, just put your earbud in and enjoy the wedding, too. That's right. You can cheer along. Yeah. You think it's the bride and groom you're cheering for? Yeah. Don't Just don't get upset if there's a bad call right when they said, does anybody here <laughs> oppose to? You certainly can't start <laughs> booing, folks. Yeah. Well, we were, I was complimenting him this morning, talking to somebody about all the facility upgrades that they've done there with the with the amount of the money that they have yeah. and uh you know it's not a it's not a large tax base around there and they've done a great job coach hickman's done a great job with uh with the facilities there soccer facilities almost complete and you know softball and baseball were done earlier a few years ago so marco misses outside with that one count runs to three balls and one strike again runners at first and second marco trying to wriggle out of this one they only gave up two thursday night Two rapids and a base hit could uh, could get one of those here. Only pitched 33 last night, so they could pull him. Right, brought him out with a 1-0 count. Swung on and missed there, and that'll fill the count up. Looks like he's it looks like he's doing more of a changeup today, uh, Doug. Am I? Is that just <laughs> when he gets behind? A... That's a good strike pitch for him. He yeah. does in that first inning or so. He just feels out which pitch is working for him the best and what he's getting the call from the ump on. Because it looks like it's just kind of falling, you know, right when it gets to the plate, just kind of falling a little bit, which is good. I mean, it's a good pitch. 3-2 offering here. Just uh, spoils that one with a check. Kind of a, that's what they teach you to do on two strikes. If you can't get to it, just kind of foul that one off. That's it. Don't play chicken. Yeah, we um, we need a little bit of that in Baton Rouge. Had too many. <sighs> Too many swinging. Oh, gosh. I'd rather talk about the dead gum eclipse <laughs> than the way the Tigers are playing here. And it started out so good, but they get into SEC play and ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Three ball, two count, strike count. We'll do it again here. Two down, runners at first and second. They'll be off and running with the pitch. And that one again just poked over the right field. And I don't say that it's out of play until Braden gives up on it because he will go get a ball over there in right field. Just 
trying to poke away. It's almost like he's looking for something besides the fastball yeah. here, and he's he's having to stay alive on the fastball. Ah, Makes ah. you wonder. Makes you wonder if you couldn't jam him inside here, but he might be a great inside hitter. I, mean, I don't know much about Rapids, but They'll everything. be off and running again, but watch for Markle perhaps to take a look over at first base here. Not, not holding him on, so there'll be no look. 3-2 offering for the third time. This one is poked again into right field. Here comes B. Wells. Wells, he's got it, and that retires the side. One base hit for Rapids. Due up for the Warriors, we believe, again, don't have that roster, but we believe that it will be Davis, Wells, and let's see, Davis, Wells, and Canyon Wright due up for the Warriors in the bottom half of the first. When we come back, you're watching High School Baseball right here on 446 Sports. Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier, transactions are getting safer, and you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. We're back here at Merrill Blackburn Field, Josh Brown Stadium, a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The left field porch is full of full of folks out there, and uh, those guys are hanging out. We'll see if if Chuck can get us over there and take a look at them. I uh, Yeah, there the guys are. Is that the steak and crawfish crew? It is. Okay. <laughs> but not on this Saturday afternoon. No. I don't understand it. We had an opportunity for crawfish. They did say something about doing some uh, barbecue rib sandwiches. They did have, yeah, in, in, in honor of Nick Magnano Day. Out must here. have called ahead. Oh, and Grace man. Christian. Go, Look what you walked back into. You don't know how, you don't know how much. You missed I, us? No, I wish I could have. I had the money to waste on a pair of overalls. <laughs> I would have showed up here with some overalls and a moon pie and RC Cola. I, will, I do want to talk about that after this. Though. And a rib sandwich. Here's an offering to Davis. It's one of those pitches that you see on there that uh, slows down huh? with yeah. that foot and doesn't put it down and then goes Pumping to the brakes. Like. Yeah. So Moon Pie Festival, is that what you said you want yeah. to talk about a little bit? We'll get into it after this pitch. Here's the offering there, slowing down and missing up high on that two balls. Go ahead, Nick. Up phenomenal high? event. I mean, phenomenal event, uh, for especially for the first annual. I mean, they had an amazing stage out there, good music, good crowd. You know, all the, all the spectators will – after this pitch. That one misses low to Davis and Crash has got a 3-0 count to start things off. All the spectators and everybody were respectful except for maybe one maybe one gentleman that had a 4-4-6 visor is he talking, on. Is he giving me grief out of here? I was very respectable. His I minded day, his my day business. was very respectable. Respectable. But, uh, yeah. And watched you eat your turkey leg and your <laughs> sandwich. That one, I wish I would have had a turkey leg. pitch walk to Davis and he will find himself at first base. <coughs> And B-Dub that made the last out will stand in there ready to go. Yeah, but uh, just a nice event. Um, the way they had it set up uh, was very, uh, very well organized, uh, fun environment. Weather was beautiful like today and uh, just a lot of fun. So, How about the next weekend on the riverfront at Pineville, the Pineville, the fifth Saturday market? Did you go down to that I one? would have loved to, huh. but we happened to be in Arkansas. Huh. <laughs> huh. And hmm. it looked like it was nice. How about that? Braden Wells stands in there. Quick throw over to first. No, that's, that's Seth. Move set the number two, isn't it? I'm gonna have to zoom yeah, in. Then. That's Cook. I think that's Cook up there. Uh, Batten? Yep. It's got to because he's yep, got the. That's Cook. Yeah. It... Yep. Coach Brown changed it up a little bit. That's Cook. Yep, sure is. Mm -hmm. He a little thicker than Braden. That we what's, know. What's our pitch count? Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. That one taken in there for a strike, and it is. One and one? Nothing and two. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it so goes from four straight balls to two strikes. 
Tell you an interesting story about Seth here in a moment as that one misses up and out of the strike zone. So when Seth's mama, when Seth was a little boy, just starting out playing, she made him a deal. Oh, yes. And that one misses up and out of the zone as well. She said, hey, little Seth, little buddy Seth, every home run you hit, mommy will give you 100 bucks. Well, Seth all grown up now, and he's hit seven out this week. So uh, you do the math as that one misses out of the zone, too. So the cash register rang there, and, and she <laughs> said uh, if, if we were paying – for running cameras and such, that she'd love to come out here during the games and, <laughs> and run a camera with us. Uh, well, I'll tell you a story about when I was a pitcher, a young man. and oh. Off and running, that's ball four, so the throw oh. is down there, but it won't matter. All right, what is your, okay, when so, you were a young buck? So I was at Four Seal, we were Rapids West, you know, All-Stars, and, and there was a young man that got $25 for every home run he hit. Okay. By the end of the, by the end of my pitching that day, he was seventy-five dollars rich. Oh my! <laughs> did he split, did he split it? it? Right. That's the story. <laughs> now the the difference was we did not have a fence. I so, got you. So, so they just hit it. Run. That's right. And you didn't take a fence. That's did you? right. So, uh, but big, no, that was or yeah. big time. Canyon Wright stands in there. He is at first base today for the Warriors, and he takes that one up high. So a couple of walks to start things off, and uh, Coach Brown does shake things up at the top of the lineup and brings Seth up into the two spot. Fastball misses outside. That's two and Which oh. is probably probably equivalent to about three hundred dollars these days. Right. That was back in the late eighties. Well, I guess you were pitching. I should ask you, you didn't take defense. No, I did not take defense to it. That oh. one lifted high and uh, playable. Coming up, left fielder calls that nope. one and it's gonna drop out of his glove there against that high sky, unable to pull that one in. And that's going to be scored an E nine that will send canyon to first base yeah center fielder sitting here touching him you know you know putting his hand on his chest saying i should have called it i should have called it that's correct owning it so maddox adelies now will stand in there maddox continues just to pound the baseball that one up towards shortstop play is going to be made in front of him so they'll get the out but give Adelie's the fielder's choice and an RBI. Now batting for the Warriors. Cody comes around to score. Seth is over at third and Canyon who reached on the era is recorded as the innings first out and that will bring now Braden Wells to the plate. So I'm watching a sports podcast yesterday out of um, out of uh, the Red Stick Sports in Baton Rouge. Right. Okay. And the host says that, I'll let you call this. That one misses down low, and the host says. The host says that the, all the bats are 30% off. No. And he said, that will save you about $200 on most bats. Wow. Oh, my. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a high dollar bat. How bats. much does a bat cost now? <laughs> well, yeah. Because, I mean, doing my math. Set. Yeah, doing my math, I mean, 30, 30, you know, so we're sitting here probably thinking 700, 750, you know. You're looking uh, at 1,000, really. You know. Um, That's correct. If they're 30% off and it's 700. It's then roughly three times that. That one misses inside, jumping out of the way is B. Wells, and he lets that one go. Is that 2-0 now? 3-0. 3-0. Get my eyes checked. So it changed from earlier when we talked about for this lineup for Rapids. It's Chamberlain over at third, not at shortstop today. The 3-0 pitch misses outside, and that's the third walk of the inning that sends Wells to first. It'll chase Adelies over to second base, and it'll load the bases up for the Warriors. Now, I will tell you, it is a lot louder in your headset than it is going out over. Right. No, I get it. Yeah. No, I get it. And, and I could tell from last night. I will say this, talking about the uh, – <laughs> The, the, the music that they're playing right now and the stuff they're playing. I, look, you know me. I'm going to be, you know, LSU Over through. Critical? And, oh, no, I'm going to be LSU through and through. But I, I have to tell you, Arkansas had some really cool little <laughs> <laughs> little tricks they did with stuff like pitch and change. And, of course, you know, I got tired of the big suey stuff because that, you know, that was, because way, it's, that's right, yeah. it was way too much. But, uh but they play. <laughs> Hog is meant to be eaten. Let's yeah. just that's, that's, no, call it what it is. They played a backup beeper because, uh, you know, that beep, beep, beep. Right. <laughs> whenever, whenever a guy struck out. 
<laughs> wow. Wow. It was there was there was some there were some cool things. Can't but, be uh, fun at the old ballpark. Uh, Tell an Epnet stands in there. No, this looks like B Wells. No, he's no, no, at first. No, no, this looks like Brady, uh not B Wells, Brady. Brady McDaniel? Uh, Brady Daniel. Brady yeah. McDaniel. Brady yeah, McDaniel, that yes. is. Yeah. Designated hitter today. I wouldn't want his account. You know, that's really one of those things to where, of course, I mean, make them beat you. <laughs> make them beat you with the bat. I mean. Well, I don't yeah. know that he's pitching around them. That's yeah. the only uh, only thing. I think he's yeah. just missing in the zone. Gotcha. Again, that's one thing that's, Boy, that's hurt at, him all look year. Look at Brady where he's at. That oh, one that's a shot. driven out into center field. A second base uh -oh. goes way out. He's going to have an opportunity. And they're going to double off the runner off of first base. And that went back to what you were talking about with Wells. Yeah. I mean, it was I, a long way off of the base and uh, thought it was going to drop, but it didn't. Again, a tremendous play mm -hmm. by the second baseman to go out there and get that one. And you go from, uh, let's leave it right here. You go from what would have been a couple of runs on there to a double play that ends the inning. With, with three runners left on. Yeah. Well. Two runners left on yeah. because one of them got erased on the double play. Well, yeah, but I mean, no, no that's um, I mean, you know, you talk about that and that's that's two inning. I mean, that's that's one inning that, you know, Rapides had the momentum to start out and and, you know, Logan shut them down. And then, you know, then Grace gets the momentum of that one. And and, you know, that happens. But uh, well, it. <laughs> You, you talk about one thing that would that would just do it, because I mean, that's where you just take a lot of momentum mm -hmm. and, and flush it down the toilet there. One thing I've, I've learned covering high school baseball is it's high school baseball and things happen, you know, and they happen every pitch. It's not like, you know, and, and even with college, you know, college is the same thing. I mean, you never know. I don't know if y'all saw last night that uh, – Milan was up. No, y'all didn't. We were That's right. Y'all were, we were working. here working. So Milan was up. Talking about you. <laughs> and he hits a, he hits one. I mean, a mile high, and it lands right between the first baseman and the second baseman, and neither one of them saw it. And, wow. And I, I told, I told so Marlene. Lucky they didn't get it in the head. Yeah, I told Marlene last week whenever because there was a foul ball that went over our head, and we lost it too. Fortunately, it was real high, and and I told her, I said, I will never. <laughs> I will never talk about a baseball player ever again. Like, how in the world? I mean, we couldn't see it. Sky was gray, and the ball looked, I mean, it was before it was dark. It was, you know, and, and that's exactly what happened last night, you know, to the Vanderbilt team. It was just in our favor last night. It was just one of those things. And mm -hmm. baseball has its way of evening things out like that. Yep. That is number 12 for Rapides that will lead things off here. One to nothing. Warriors lead this one. They mm -hmm. won it seven to two. Chuck, you may want to fix your scoreboard there. It is one nothing, Grace. Thank you. Cody Davis came around to score I forgot about earlier. That. Yep. And that put the first score on the Wallace High Associates scoreboard for the There game. you have it. One ball and one strike. That one lifted out here to where we're at. Wind pushing it a little bit, but Epnet the center fielder calls Wells off and goes up and makes that catch. Good job against that high sky. And look, they are very uh, excited about the future of Talon Epnet, both with the bat and in the field. Very solid fielder. Yeah, so we, so what, uh, Coop over here is what, a junior or Coop a sophomore? Uh, I think he's a, I think he's a junior. Okay, so you have what, junior, eighth grade and freshman? Yep, yep, Braden's a freshman. That one pushed over there foul. And then uh, Powell, the senior at third base. Right. Adley's a junior at short. Cook, the senior. Canyon, a junior. Davis, a senior. And Markle, the freshman. So I'm good, sorry, the eighth grader. So a good mix across the board there, you know. And that's typical for, a, you know, Division Five school. You know, I mean, Every once in a while, you run into a group that has, you know, seven or eight seniors. Mm. Which I think JG's class was probably like that, wasn't it? Didn't they have probably six, five or six? Or They had or they five had or a, six seniors. They, they were had a loaded. junior class, and they had a junior class right below them that, that, that was, had That was solid. Yeah, had six Cortland or seven Ramirez of them. Yeah. in that junior class. Cameron James was in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you had a, a number. CJ. Of them. Yep. Cody Allen was in that, Cody Allen, in that yep. group. Yep. 
So, yeah, so you had, I mean, that, that, and, you know, I mean, that's a big difference whenever you have, you know, 10 or 12 junior and seniors, you know, on the lineup, and they had been to the to the dance. They you had know, been there and lost times. it in the, in the championship the year before that. Yep. After beating Anacoco and Will Reese in that semifinal game. I listened to that game. Somebody was, That's right. somebody had it on the radio. Indeed. I listened to that game, sure did. Sometime today also, if you would get a picture of this so you can send to Danny and tell him this is what he needs. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That one lifted foul there. So you we're, saw do, that. we're doing, we're doing, there's a song right now. This It's a, a OK. We're doing A OK. All right. <laughs> so the hype video that AB Films put out, we were watching a little bit earlier. The very first picture in that is a picture that's up on the, on the clubhouse as you walk in where you've got a player standing at second base and he's, he's screaming. That's actually J.G. who had just doubled off of Will Reese in that game uh, in what would have would have extended that lead just a bit. Yeah, and uh, Anacoco was was a big rival for uh, for us on the track and field scene as well. Oh, on everything. You know, mm -hmm. Thought about chasing that one up and out of the zone, but doesn't do it. I had to almost step on the plate to reach that one. They frown on that. Yeah, they do. They'll I call you out in a hurry. I think Chuck. I think I did find a, a use for my stand that I, that I bought, uh, like what you have your your oh, computer on. Oh, so you're not using it for what its intended purpose was. No. That one uh, lifted out to center field. Epnet making a long run at it. Doesn't get to it. It gets in between Epnet and Courtright. Going to be a play at second base. Not in time. And that is a sliding double. And that's just a good one, boy. I thought Epnet had it. He was tracking it, but couldn't quite get there. Well, they said 11's Caleb, and the one batting right now is Spencer. I can hear that. <laughs> that we've got. <laughs> that was Caleb, and now this young man, we'll see what number he is, is Spencer. He represents the eighth batter of the inning. That's number 21. There you go. Spencer is 21. That's why I left that camera there for you. That's right. The old dish cam brought to you by us. Yes, yeah. Brought to you by me and Chuck. And the Chuckles mic. That's right. <laughs> we don't have all them fancy names uh, for stuff like, oh, man. like those guys. Yeah. I'll have to tell you a funny story about that here in a second. That one misses up. I like funny stories, so let's so, let's have so it. So Coach LaRue's daughter, uh, oldest daughter, she's uh, a, a Rapid super fan, and she okay. was under the weather, so she's watching the broadcast. <laughs> and she told, she said, Daddy, she said, if I hear Mr. Nick say Riverside Hospital <laughs> or Exmark <laughs> one more time. <laughs> At a girl. Oh, me. I will tell you, I'll tell you something after this pitch, too. Marco looks over and now delivers. Swung through that one and missed two balls and a strike. So there was a time that I had done the recordings for Menard Baseball and what I did. You still and do. I was, and I was doing it. Well, I was doing the PA. I was doing them live, but I did the recordings as well. Um, and then so I had a recording for every time there was a foul ball for the crash of the glass and, and whoever their uh, sponsor was for it. And uh, Coach. Um, um, One, coach. two offering swung on there. Evens the count of two balls and two strikes. Oh, correction. That's strike three. Hey, it looks like um, it looks like Nicole just came up to Coach Brown with uh, the lineup. I wonder if mm. Rapides may have had that a, about out of order or something. I'd, I'd like yeah, to. He's have. calling a timeout here. Yes, he is. Wonder yeah. if that's wonder if that's it's a good case. catch there to see that. And I'd like Miss Nicole to send that lineup out to us as well. But what do you do? Mm. Go in there and get Coach Brown, and they'll get the lineup cards out. And well, you know he hates to do that uh, on his on his guy Chaston. But what I was going to tell y'all is, or finish that story while this is going on, is uh, Coach Marks told me he said, "Can you just not play that so many times?" I said, "Well, tell him quit hitting it out of the park, <laughs> quit hitting foul balls." Can't hear what's going on on there. Okay, so Coach Point there. Is pointing at yeah, Caleb. Yeah. Ooh, that pop. Yeah, it's, that it's lovely, isn't it? Let <laughs> me give you a little less volume in Yeah, ear? maybe a little. Is that, that's you, right? Yeah, that's uh, you. yeah that, that's me. Follow them, Chuck. They're going to the right, and they'll go to the official book, which is there. So it's – we need the we need the court right mic is what we need so we can hear <laughs> things just like this. And depending on where I'm at, that mic would be have a different name. It could. 
And uh, unlike basketball, this would, you know, that would have a technical. This would be an out. Courtrights have been keeping the book here for a long, long time. A few decades. I mean, a few, a few decades. Not decades, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Maybe approaching it. So, much ado about nothing there, as it looks like that they have everything straightened out, and we'll ask Coach Brown about that in the Warrior wrap-up. Maybe a little more volume, Chuck, just a little bit. That's good right there. All right, Thanks. so following that strikeout, that's got, us back, that's got us down to the nine hole hitter. Did you hear what his name was? No, I did not. We were, we were focused on the. Ooh, DePlane. Two down, top of the second. We play. Warriors lead this one one to nothing. Beautiful Saturday afternoon, and that was taken down low. And you're right, Nick, he does like the low strike. It's number five. He didn't have that already. Yep. Yep. Colton. Colton, that's there right. We go. See, as the lineup is starting <laughs> to put Chuckles itself Mike. together, that's the mom, Mike, down there <laughs> doing it. Here's the delivery. That one swung through and missed. Markle has three Ks <laughs> on the afternoon. Yeah, he's changing it up really well today. 0-2 here has allowed two base hits on the afternoon. The biggest one was the one out here in the gap just a few moments ago between Epnet and Courtright. Mm. Down low, ball Shoe one. Shoelace a shot. One ball and two strikes to Colton. See the grass starting to fill in, you know. Have some cool evenings, which kind of, you know, affecting it, but it's. Starting to look, it looks really good on camera. They had some trouble does. with their lawnmower yesterday. <laughs> oh, gosh. And were cutting it, and they quit cutting it, got off, and ran down for the anthem. You can kind of see. Swung on and missed, and that'll retire the side in the top half of the second. The Whoa! Mustangs pick up one hit, no runs, no errors, and they leave. Caleb stranded on their due up for the Warriors, 7 8 9, when we come back. You're watching. Grace Christian Baseball right here on 446 Sports. Is your vision just not as crisp and clear as it used to be? Are you having difficulty driving, especially at night? Are you over 40 and now needing reading glasses? If so, the trusted eye care team at Wallace Eye Associates is here to help with your family's eye care needs, just like we have been for nearly 40 years. Call Wallace Eye Associates today at 318-448-4488 to schedule your next eye evaluation. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. We're back for the top of the second here. Logan Markle will lead things off for the Warriors. Logan, four strikeouts on the afternoon on the hill for Grace Christian. Now we'll try to get himself a little bit of breathing room in this. Ground ball backhanded at third base and foul. Chamberlain had a good shot at it, but wasn't going to be able to get to it as it goes foul. Strike one. So things that we see that are popping up, a lot of baseball, softball coverage, but little nests out here in the outfield for all of us to go and call games under. Yes, and except what, for it. Oh, oh, that one lifted out here to where we're at. Center fielder camping out under it, and he's got it this time. That's the leadoff hitter for, now batting for the Warriors, number five. Four Rampies. 
And the first out is recorded. That'll bring up now Talonet Net. Warriors didn't get a lot of production from the lower end of the lineup yesterday, but quite frankly, didn't get a lot of it from anyone yeah. on there, save for the Seth Cook home run. You know, and you got to play games like that. I mean, it's, it's games that are going to challenge the guys. You know, you go up in class and. Uh, Might as well so. say they got eclipsed yesterday. Oh except my for the gosh. one bright spot. Total go. one. You know, I almost went with a Chuckism about, uh, you know, if it's uh, the, the, with um, the, the bat that they're that they're using with. The pencil bat? Oh, yeah. Yes. So is it a number two bat in high school and a number three in uh, a number three pencil in college? But, you know, that was a, a Chuckism there. <laughs> There's that awkward delivery that is stopped, and it's ball four, and that's going to send Talon down. So... In consecutive innings, the Warriors get a leadoff walk. Well, correction, because Logan flew out to the outfield, so disregard anything I ever say. That'll get us back to the top of the Warrior lineup. Catcher Cody Davis, who walked and scored the game's only run back in the first. You can't instant replay that, can you? No, and this is Jack Powell. And so, again, I'm going to – Chuck or Nick, you might have to take play-by-play. -play no, I just wanted, I just wanted Chuck to instant replay the – don't listen to anything Doug ever says. Mm. Don't think it won't get chopped up. I promise you. <laughs> Chuck's already so it's marked not where only it's live; at. it's recorded. How about Ooh. that? So. Is it live? It is live. Or is it Memorex? <laughs> well, that's oh, some old school that's, for you. Geez, uh, I don't even know what you're talking just about. Just review yeah, the tape on that one. Some don't, but you do, Nick. <laughs> review the tape on that one. That one in there for a strike, and it is nothing and too quickly to the senior third baseman Jack Powell. So Epnet, the walk is over at first base. Gets a good lead off of it, but nothing doing. And one ball, two strikes. Oh, what a great afternoon. Now that breeze is starting mm -hmm. to make its way in. It just sounds great on the mics. Yes. Jack swings through that one, and he's down on strikes now. I will gladly apologize to the listeners with the wind and the mic, the way it feels up here. <laughs> it could be a little, so we do this for you guys, but we can be a little selfish every once in a while. And yeah, you found yourself a little bit closer to that tin roof above us. So, and, it, I mean, it, and it's good. It kind of radiates a little bit. Cody Davis now does stand in. You see him get those toes up near the line, takes a curveball in there for strike one. Cody did walk and score the game's only run. It was a four-pitch walk to Cody back in the first, so he's yet to swing the bat in five pitches that he's seen. That'll swing it, and that'll Ooh. smash it. And a glove save over there at third base by Craig Chamberlain. Wow. Goes up and gets that one. They call him Little Craig, and uh, nothing little about that play that he just made right there. Line out to third. Kind of like Wilt Chamberlain height on that one, huh? Kind of like that. For you can't hit it much harder than that, gentlemen. For the third out, uh, it'll be one, two, three, do up for Rapids when we come back after two complete. Grace Christian on top of the Mustangs and Rapids, one to nothing. We'll be back on 446 Sports. There are some things in life you can fix, and some things are better left to the professionals. When your vehicle has transmission problems, what will you do? Go where you know. Go where you know, certified transmission. Time for our red, white, and cool summer event at Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Right now, you can save on a new energy saving system. No money down, 0% interest, and no payments till June 2024. Call Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing or visit us online.
Leaving things off top half of the third as well as he gets back into position. And the Markle offering misses outside. Ball one, two, should be number two. He's a leadoff hitter for. Unless we've missed one somewhere. That went in there for a strike, and it is. He reached on that error by Adelies at shortstop to get things going here, but we play in the top of the third. That one in there, strike two. Boy, that airline team last night came in, and they uh, they bunted the ball, and they, they got after it and, mm -hmm. and played a very fast-paced game. This one moving a lot more slowly and methodically. Chess type. I did get a comment on our YouTube page from uh, Mr. Indus's dad. Uh -huh. The uh, That one fouled back, and it's, it remains one ball. So we called it uh, Indris was his name, Indris. Silas Indris, E-N-D-R-I-S, and he came in and retired six in a row to end the game. And that one lifted a foul again, and we called him we called him Silas. Watch me in this Indris, and uh, and so that was that was neat. That's circulating around the the Shreveport folks. I can tell you, I got a text from a coach uh, Zach Pusho, who said that he. Oh, looky there! How about that foul shot? It, it, over his head, yeah, the bat was he up and, and lay out the bat was up. Got to bring the bat down, yep. young man. Oh, got to get the bat down. Strike. Yep. That's but, your that's your your Rapids lineup from the other night. My uh, buddy up there, Zach Pusho, anyway, Indris texted him, I guess, on the way home last night with it and uh, got a swing and strike out there. Down on strikes. That was number two. Let's look up his. First out of the game, and that will bring in 23 to the plate. And Nick's working on that for us. He had that base hit back in the first, too, that one. But, yeah, uh, Indris apparently had screenshotted or screen recorded our uh, website of that recording. Ah, there you go. I sent it off to him, and, and he was telling me that Indris plays a position with him on the football team as well. Well, there you have it. Well, no, this is this is good information, but it doesn't have the the uh, doesn't have the numbers the, to match yeah, the up numbers, with. So we'll, we'll still keep strike two. So if the batting order was the same, then we'd have some names. But now mm -hmm. we just have to listen for the mama mic to cheer people on, which we need to bring back back up. And they're just in time for the chip. Swung on and missed, back-to-back -back strikeouts. And that's three, I'm sorry, that's four consecutive strikeouts following that big double. And we told you that Logan will get stronger as he goes along. This will bring up number three. He was one of those five strikeouts, six strikeouts already, one of those six strikeouts. Up and out of the zone for ball one. It's number Nine or three was it's that? number three. This three. is three. Okay. Yeah. Swung through that one and missed. One ball, one Tip, strike. Tipped it a little bit, sound like. Markle delivers this curveball outside. It'll look like a little bit of a 12 6 curveball. Misses that one, two balls and a strike. It's a. Uh, Amazing how these last name, uh, you know, Marlene went to. Oh. Ground ball up the middle. Lowe's got it, and he's going to run over to first there, and the little toss gets him out of the inning. <laughs> did so y'all he, hear Ben McDonald the other night? So he accounts for all of those. We did not. We'll keep it right here, and let's have a Ben McDonald story. Okay, so so the pitcher the pitcher fills the ball just like Logan did. Right. Okay, jogs over there to toss underhand. Mm. He, said, he said, we sit here, and we can hit. A pitcher can hit a. Any spot, most spots on the plate, you know, from 60 feet away. But, boy, they feel the ball, and they got to run over there and toss it. <laughs> You're exactly right. He said, Ben said, why don't they just throw it, save, yeah. a, few, save a few steps? Don't I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. For somewhere, there's been a pitcher that's yep. thrown the ball away, and yeah. so they, they do that. Throwing from the mound, you got to hit, what what is it, basically a, a two by two and a half rectangle spot there for your pitching shot. So, yeah. He said, uh Coach LaRue said it's the same. It's just Johnson is hitting, Doug. So, all right. This is what I got. So I got the I got the wrong one out of here. If I'd have got LaRue out here. You're, you're right. Then by I'm the way, he did a great oh. job the other day. Yeah. So, but I don't have on. first names. So I'll this keep was saying that, Doug, you're right. You oh, well, easy now. I mean, I'm sorry. But so that was Peart. Johnson <laughs> is 
there. Three is Hoyt. Hoyt. Jen Chamberlain we have. He said Hoyt was hitting now, which he's obviously, you know, the broadcaster. Just he a was the one that us. was, yeah, but that yeah. was the one that was the third out of the inning. Seth Cook stands in there ready to go to work. In the bottom of the third, seeing if he can ring that cash register one more time. And he was trying to there, by Indeed. golly. The pitcher's John song. Indeed, he was trying to ring it. Johnson looks in for, to deliver it to Cook now. That one bounces up there, evens the count of the ball and the strike. So we appreciate our buddy LaRue, Waylon LaRue, for getting that for us. Teacher and coach at Rapids High School. And Cook, and the only problem that I've seen with him as this one is delivered, swung through that one and missed, was Trying to boil that water for the grits that morning at, at Menard. Couldn't get, he was getting a lot of grief for the water not coming to boil. Don't know about that. You know, my Swung on and missed and cooked down on strikes. But I bet you didn't leave hungry, did you? Not one <laughs> bit. There wasn't a little spot in my stomach that was saying, ah, I'm hungry. So Boy, that's what you don't like. You throw the ball around after a yeah. strikeout and you chunk yeah. it to the other fence. So Danny's Danny's out of town. Him and Miss Becky, huh. and uh, they're in, in Gulf Shores. Oh, nice. So Tuesday, uh, tell you a second. Curveball across for strike one. He's two, finding his curveball, gentlemen. He's finding his curveball. Big but, uh, time canyon right there. Takes that one. Strike one. Johnson stands back up. <laughs> Wind up and stops it in the middle. Pauses and Canyon times that up. Play over to the shortstop is made. Over to first in time. And that is Marler at short that gets the that gets the play. Boy, Cody and, and Canyon both hit the ball on the on the nose, but it's you know been straight to third baseman and the shortstop. But uh, but we've been hearing all this stuff about the crawfish bread and the sausage bread and everything. Yes. And, uh, and poor Danny's in Gulf Shores, and, and and Coach LaRue ended up making it that evening and bringing it out there. Oh, nice. Yeah, but do you really miss out if you're in Gulf Shores? I can understand. <laughs> poor Doug is at work, and he's unable to get to it. Or poor Nick was able because he had to go and, and, and do something at his mow his grass. Yeah. That's all right. I get that. But he's in Gulf Shores. <laughs> yeah, and then he sends, me, he sends me a picture the next day of – him and Miss Becky on the beach. So, yeah, so maybe I shouldn't feel too bad for yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, how do you – how are you saying poor Danny in that? I don't uh, – uh-uh. And, and just a short trip up, you've got Foley, Alabama, where there's Lambert's Cafe. Come on. Oof, been there, done that. Could use a throat roll right now. Swung on Boy, and missed Johnson and down is on strikes. Feeling it. Yeah, he is. Three up, three down for Johnson, and that retires it due up. Four Rapids in the top half of the fourth will be Chamberlain, Marler, and Lewis when we come back. Wherever you are, you're there for a reason. You shouldn't have to make a trip to the branch to deposit a check. Skip the trip and use our mobile app to easily and securely deposit checks right from your phone, day or night, wherever you are, or whatever you're doing. Download our mobile app today. BK Distributors is proud to support high school athletics on 446 Sports. BK is the one-stop shop for trophies, banners, awards, letter jackets, and just about anything award-related. And now, welcome BK Apparel and BK Promotions to the family. For all your spirit apparel needs and anything you need to brand your business, when you think of anything you need with your name on it, think BK. Check them out on Facebook or at bkdistrib.com. BK Distributors, apparel and promotions in Pineville. We play in the top <laughs> half of the fourth. Craig Chamberlain will lead things off. He is the Mustangs third baseman. Watches that one go in there for strike one. 
And let's get back over here we're at. So, Nick, i got to ask. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's it like to be able to stand up and call a game and not have all the technical stuff to deal with? It's 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 nice. I love it. <laughs> it it's nice, I will say. Uh, but uh, but that's that's part of the gig, you know. I mean, there's, you know, two of us, you know, just like, you know, whenever you guys always did it. And uh, Danny's Danny's on the book and the game changer and watching the computer, making sure everything's rolling rolling smoothly. Good pitch. And now that the uh, kind of like Ash football is going to be this year, huh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now that the plug-in is fixed and yes. you have the, uh, a good ATM, your yes. stuff doesn't freeze up anymore. Yes, we've been very Swing fortunate. Swing on and miss, down on strikes, and that is the seventh yeah. strikeout of the game recorded by Markle. Yeah, you're talking about. I mean, you're talking about nerve-wracking. I mean, you're already worried because you don't know all the mm. the technicalities of the system as it is, and then. You know, fortunately, Danny was, you know, smart enough to figure out how to, you know, turn it off, turn it back on to get us out of a bind a few times. Mm -hmm. Good pitch. Yeah, that curveball. Uh, again, I'm telling you, he's got that, that ball that breaks in almost like a slider would or a screwball would. He's got the changeup, he's got the fastball, and that curveball. And then he can locate it well. It's almost like a marionette ball, basically. But I will say this about Ash football. When you're keeping the stats and trying to talk about what's what's uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to over. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, push I'm trying through, to push through, my friend. Yeah, I'm trying to just battle through here, but mm -hmm. uh, but no, it's uh, it, it's been a lot of this has been a lot of fun. It really has. Coming up on your one year anniversary with us. <laughs> we saw that. You heard no, about that last no, night. No, 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 no. <laughs> my broadcasting career started in August with that. Oh, with but on the mic. No, 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 no. My broadcast <laughs> career. Mic. It was open mic night. We have night. no proof. <laughs> what it was. We have yeah. no proof oh, that yes, I was here. Oh, yes, oh, we, we have we proof. Do. Oh, man. One in ball and two locations. strikes. To, one Golly. ball, two strikes to Marler. And that one doinked over to Cook. <laughs> He's got that at second base. Look it up. That's an official word. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, somebody uses that on their t TV show, as a matter of fact. Do they, doink. Uh, the doink doink. I haven't seen the doink doink. I haven't. It's um, one of the law and order or something. I had not seen that. You haven't seen that? Okay. Mm -hmm. the, actually, it's just a sound. They don't say the word, but it's doink doink. Has there been a 2T sighting any lately? I mean, have we seen Brett, 2T Brett, Anywhere? I mean, two T's mad at me. I uh -oh, think. I okay. hope he's not. Uh -oh, uh -oh, no, I'm sorry. One T. No, two T's back. Two T comes back from his cruise yes. today. Okay. All right. That's so, why he's been. That's why he's been. He's calm been on the text. incognito because okay. he hasn't been around. Uh -oh. That one lifted high. That one lifted back. Talon bank unable to get to it. It bangs off the wall. And there's a play at second base. Get time. Got him at second. And that will do it, and they all fly in there. Talon chases back, had a good effort at it, feeling for the wall, but unable to get to it there. Ball bangs around, and he comes up and gets at it, and on a dart, gets it into second base for the out. How about that one? So Lewis credited with a single, and then out at second base for the third out. Due up for the Warriors, B. Wells, Brady McDaniel, and Logan Markle when we come back. It all started with a sketch on a napkin. An idea created by two walk-on bench warmers. And after 10 years of hard work and perseverance to turn their dream into a reality, it's the number one sports bar in America. Welcome to Walk On. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Wherever you are, you're there for a reason. You shouldn't have to make a trip to the branch to deposit a check. Skip the trip and use our mobile app to easily and securely deposit checks right from your phone, day or night, wherever you are, or whatever you're doing. Download our mobile app today. BK Distributors is proud to support high school athletics on 446 Sports. BK is the one-stop shop for trophies, banners, awards, letter jackets, and just about anything award-related. And now, welcome BK Apparel and BK Promotions to the family. For all your spirit apparel needs and anything you need to brand your business, when you think of anything you need with your name on it, think BK. Check them out on Facebook or at bkdistrib.com. BK oh, Distributors, apparel, apparel and, promotions and promotions in Pineville. In Pineville. 
Wellesley leads things off for the Warriors in the bottom half of the fourth. Takes that one up high. Ball one. Up high. Up high. Man. Which would be really good right now. I don't know how you guys are still talking about food after that big burger we had. <laughs> it was good, but you know, you need something sweet after something savory. Huh. <laughs> A moon pie. <laughs> oh my. You know, I'm wondering. Mrs. Lowe bounces back to the backstop and actually rolls down the first baseline. I need to try one, I guess. Um, I didn't like them as a kid, and my taste buds have changed a lot, you know, over the years on different things. Uh, I need to just get another moon pie and just, just try thing. one. It's a texture thing for me. Yeah. Well. I don't like peeps either. Yeah, I don't like peeps. But you know what? It might be cool to kind of toast a little. Toasted a little, the, the middle one, the middle they part. They had deep fried moon deep pies oh, wow. out there. Oh, wow. You could get two deep fried moon pies and an RC Cola for two bucks. That's if that's what not American living. Needs. Well, I didn't see that. That would have been cool. You yeah, know, somebody could have informed me of that. I just did. So, Ball four, lead off walk to Braden Wells. He was doubled off last time. I think he'll keep a little better eye on things this, this time around. He walked. The and, second time. And for the record, uh, Mr. Perkins, yeah. Doug did ask me if I would help him that afternoon, or if I wanted to join him that afternoon. And what did you that say? Was, that, I said no, sir, because that was my first Saturday off. Nice. So Good for said, you. Yeah, I'd, said, I'd made mm -hmm. arrangements with my bride. Good for you. So so the way it started, to, to have full transparency into that story and not just hear his side of the story, no. Mr. Perkins, oh. he says that, his and niece Ms. and Miss Marley. Yeah. His niece <laughs> yeah. had asked him to come and uh, come out to the Moon Pie Festival, and she gave him that face, and that was the you know the puckered lip and the uh -oh. sad eyes, that face. And so I said, "How about you come out to the ball game this afternoon?" And I tried the puckered lip and the sad eyes, and to no avail. No, not at all. So that's truly how the story. <laughs> that went. is true. And she did she did that twice. She did that once when we were walking to the car, and then right before my 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 sister was about to close her door, she poked her head out and said, are you sure, Uncle Nick? <laughs> I think the girls called that the trout pout. <laughs> McDaniels oh, takes man. the 3-0 pitch down the middle for ball one. And I'm glad she did because, for like I one, said, it was, it was three a, balls and a strike. It was How a much? lot of fun. 3-1. Three, three, one. You've got yeah. it correct. Okay. Yeah, I had no uh, – it doesn't have the same effect when I did it. <laughs> that one in there, strike two, fills things mm. up. Don't forget to join us. We are back after a one-week layoff to celebrate the birth, the resurrection, I'm sorry, of our Lord and Savior. We are back to Buffalo Wild Wings. That one lifted out to center field. And a good diving catch is made, is made there in center field. And, oh, baby, what a play that was from Peart. Goodness gracious. I'm wondering if that is Jody Peart's son. Uh, we went to school with her growing up. and I'm sure our man Waylon will let you know that. Yeah. Stole that base hit away from Brady McDaniel. Just a great job diving in. I'm going to tell you, these guys are playing some, some ball today. You saw that one that ended the last inning that Chamberlain made over at third, and then that diving effort from Peart, and that one pumped in there for strike one. Look, Johnson was Johnson, throwing yeah, himself a game, say, too. Yeah, Johnson settled in. So, uh, at what, they're 11 and 11 now? I yes. mean, you know, I think last year they may have had five or six wins. I didn't, Maybe. you know. And, so. and, and Chaston, or Coach Lacaz, is just building a good curveball. That's just a good curveball. We get to see a chance to see it from that angle, as Markle saw it from right, uh, from whence from it me. came. Fastball swung on and missed, and down on strikes goes Markle. Back to back outs, and that'll bring up Talon Epnet. <laughs> Talon, Talon's the one in center field that had that ball get by him. Uh, it was just a shot against the wall, come up firing at second base to get Lewis. <laughs> he said they're buying plants, but he's trying to watch. <laughs> Spend that money, coach. That's right. That one in there for the strike. He coming to landscape our booth out here? Is that what he's going to do? <laughs> no, nice. He's going to landscape around the perch at, uh, at Menard for Oh, boy, boy. Folks are going to want to just come out and, join, and, and sit with us, I believe. That one ground over. Johnson's got it. It's going to field his position. Well, ball oh. on the ground, though, and it's going to be safe. 
There they go. Throw yep. the bar, ball hard to him, he says. That's right. Wow, that one was thrown. He had to reach out for it. And so it looked to me like uh, like the first baseman, Spencer, was trying to keep a foot on the yeah. base and then think about the ball. Yeah. And that will bring Jack Powell in there. So that is going to be an error on the pitcher. Well, you design. know, as much as I, I like Ben McDonald, maybe, maybe that's why right there. <laughs> Maybe that's why they run closer and underhand toss. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> he had no choice in that yeah. one as the pitch had brought him off there, but you're right. Yeah. They're right. used to throwing it off the mound and from that but, but but in high school most of them are all fielding their positions. There's no real there's no real POs only, uh or pitcher only in high school. I learned that mm -hmm. term this week. Oh, P.O. Okay. P.O. Yeah, you know my business. A P.O. is not pitcher only. No, it's, <laughs> it's not a purchase a order. Off. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was parole officer. <laughs> oh gosh, Caramel over there to Chamberlain. No hit purchase that, order. That will retire the side. Oh, my That's good. In, the bottom, <laughs> in the bottom of the fourth. If we're shut down after yes. this inning, then bear with us. We'll be right back for the top of the fifth when we come back. Hope you've enjoyed watching four four six sports. And, uh, we may be last time to sign off here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> At Certified Transmission, you can count on our certified mechanics with over 35 years experience to get your vehicle fixed right and get you back on the road. Got transmission problems? Go where you go. Certified Transmission. Hi, I'm Kimberly Harrell, Certified Residential Appraiser. I am currently a leading provider of appraisal services for mortgage lending, employee relocation, estate planning, and community property settlements. My experience in real estate over the past 13 years and currently serving as president of the Greater Central Louisiana Realtors Association has given me a clear understanding of the real estate world and the ever-changing market we live in today. For any of your valuation needs, give me Kimberly Harrell a call. We are back. Merrill Blackburn Field. Look like a, a change is being made here, and I'll leave that to, to Nick. No, that's going to be Caleb still. That's number 11 that's stepping in. Caleb had that double way back in the second inning. Yeah, this is the one that uh, they thought had batted out, batted out of order. Right. You know, in that. You saw LaCaz go up there and make sure, like, look, he's batting <laughs> in the right spot before anybody says anything. But he takes that one in there for strike one. Not a question about that one. That was a beautiful shot. We're in the top of the fifth. Top yes, five. Wow. It's like a softball game flying right along. TOF. That one ground over to K-Dub at first. Big time's got it. I, I will say this. the That lip right there where the infield you know, goes to the to the grass where the dirt goes to the the grass goes to the dirt. Excuse me. Okay. There's been a few hops mm -hmm. that uh, obviously you just don't see where where we've been broadcasting the past couple months. <laughs> oh, you spoiled little turf kids. Oh gosh. <laughs> There's the delivery. That one misses. I didn't low. say I like it. Ball one. I like the fact that we get the games in, but yeah, I'm an I'm an old dirt bag by trade, so uh, hmm. I, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an old dirt bag. There yeah. we go. That sounds like a Merle Haggard song. It does. So. That one misses low, bounces off of that dirt around home plate. One thing Danny and I have, have learned is that in Vernon Parish, where he was growing up as a kid, if you got the foul ball, you brought it back to the concession stand, you'd yes. get a snow cone. Oh. Right. Where we would get a Coke. Yes. And, of course, we always wanted a Coke because of the wax Coke. the wax cup. You so know, you play cup ball That's right. It. Sure. That's right. But, uh, now that, that baseballs are 6 and $7, yes. there ain't no more cooks. You almost have to get a burger and fries That's out right. of the deal. That's right. Yeah, you hold on to those. Swung on and missed. Two balls, two strikes now to Spencer. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Doug was still there when, when Ronnie was telling us the story that he's been he's been known to Tried tell. to buy the kit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, mm. oh. That one lifted high in second base. Cooks, he's under it. Pulls that Good one job, down. Seth. And he's got that one. Score that four unassisted. So there was one kid, Chuck, that was just, I mean, just raking in the foul balls right and left. He had a glove full of them on the way out. And Ronnie's like. This is like, Rougarou stuff. Yeah, Rougarou, here, so. Rougarou oh, okay. stuff. And Ronnie's like, hey, kid, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. 
Nope. <laughs> now, wow. The kid knew what he had. They were going on eBay. Oh, Six wow. seventy-five a piece is what they pay for them. That one in there for a strike. Oh, Ronnie will be in town yeah. this Wednesday having lunch with him out at uh, Oak Wing. We're going to talk about that golf tournament that's coming up in May for the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Cool. 446 bo- four, uh, folks are teaming up and helping out with that, doing a little bit more. So, uh, not you, Chuck. You don't have an involvement in that. So you're not streaming, Just broadcasting? Curious. Down on strikes, drop third strike. Quick throw down to first will do it, but that is another strikeout. 7-8-9 go in order. Due up in the bottom of the fifth for the Warriors. And it's going to be Davis, Cook, and Big Time when we come back. Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier. Transactions are getting safer. And you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. We are back here to Merrill Blackburn Field, and our international check is on where we take a look around the world, the globe, to see where we're at. And Miss James is watching from Heidelberg, Germany today. And uh, Canyon's brother from Thailand is watching. So we've got Thailand in the house, and we've got Germany in the house today. And uh, Wait, Thailand? Thailand. 12 hours difference. That means it's 2.45 in the morning over there. Guten Morgen. All right, no, that's Germany. But anyway, we yeah, do something. have Germany watching. But, yeah, it's 2.45 in the morning. Why not watch that? I think it's 0-2 now. Cody Davis does look at 0-2. Yes, Cody has a walk in the line out to the third baseman. Hit that hard shot over to Chamberlain at third. That curveball lifted high and going to stay in the infield. Wind blowing it, but uh, first baseman comes in and makes that play, and that was Spencer over at first. And a fly out to first, to first base, F3 score that one. Seth Cook will stand in there and hasn't really responded to moving to the two hole on there. Sounds like some F3 winds blowing out here too. Walked, yeah, he right, he walked. And struck out, and he takes that first one in there for strike one. If he hits one, Doug, it's probably going to be out here. They look like they're keeping everything away from him. Throwing the old Dixieland to him, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Look away. Look away. Look Uh, away. I thought you were Dixieland. Talking about the roller coaster. Uh Uh-huh. Johnson rocks back and fires and delivers this one up high and away. Misses that one. Two balls and a strike. Pecan. Looks like Chaston's using the 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 radio into the catcher. They do that now. Grace has yeah. that also. Grace has that as well. Cool. We tried to put a microphone down there or a camera on Cody and had all and it just didn't work. <laughs> tried one on the umpire. They weren't buying it. What the heck? Yeah. They want a special mask one, you know. Seth takes that one in there and fills the count up. Three balls and two strikes. Seth trying to add to the lead here for the Warriors. They lead it just one to nothing in this game that is flying along. Swung on and missed and down on strikes in consecutive at bats is Seth Cook. And that uh, that Rapids Mustang crowd is getting into it and big time. We'll stand in there ready to go. Big time Canyon Wright comes to the plate. He is reached on an error and ground out to the shortstop. 
misses that one up and away. Think they're trying to get Seth some more pitches to see as hot as he is having Canyon hit behind him. Behind him. Mm -hmm. Seth watches that one go up and away. Yeah, the um, you know, with the exception with the exception of the first inning, Doug. I mean, Johnson he had a couple of walks there. I mean, he has done really well. That one up and out of the zone. You're right, Nick. Though, uh, and again, it was a case of both of those pitchers, he and Marco. Once they settled oh, yeah. down, it's just been rolling along. Warriors put across just one run last night and have just one today. Look, you said it earlier, and that is ball four to Canyon Ride in front of Maddox Adelies. You said it earlier. Baseball is baseball. It's a game where you get out on the field and anybody can beat anybody. You go back to that 2016 year when Grace went down to Lake Charles and beat Barb. Yeah. And that one went nobody. Fresh off a state championship, national championship, and all the championships that you might want. Getting hung up on the backside. Hmm. Don't get hung up on the back side. Yeah. yeah. That Chuck Mike gets a lot of stuff. I'm telling you, every pitch and every batter that this Rapids team stays around, their fan base is getting more and more into it. <laughs> Snap throw down to first, trying to get Canyon, who had drifted off just a little bit, is not going to happen. 2 1. <laughs> and it's two balls and one strike. Thank you to Maddox. Mm. Strike that we've seen down there called all game. Evens things up at two balls and two strikes. And Nick, one of the things that we talked about the first of the game was you want consistency. And we've seen that pitch there all game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's Logan's getting it in. Oh, that one a little low. Canyon's going to be off and running. That's big there. That's yeah. big. Yeah, you take the Don't. take the force out of out of effect there at second base. Now base hit will score Canyon, and Maddox has been one of the hottest hitters on this Warrior team. Johnson is going to step off and think about it for just a minute. You know, Johnson's kept it. He's kept it down too, which is you know definitely been in his favor. Oh. Mm. That was strike. Thought it might have been a foul, but yeah. it wasn't. There was no foul on that at all. And so Adley's is down on strikes, a drop third strike, and the out is recorded 2-3 on the put out for the third out of the inning. So the Warriors, they leave one, no runs, no hits. The only run they had was Cody Davis, who led things off with a base on balls back in the first and came around to score. And that's been the scoring for this. We move to the top of the sixth, and it is Peart, Johnson, and Hoyt to lead things off. Top of the lineup, do it for Rapids when we come back. Is your vision just not as crisp and clear as it used to be? Are you having difficulty driving, especially at night? Are you over 40 and now needing reading glasses? If so, the trusted eye care team at Wallace Eye Associates is here to help with your family's eye care needs, just like we have been for nearly 40 years. Call Wallace Eye Associates today at 318-448-4488 to schedule your next eye evaluation. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. There are some things in life you can fix, and some things are better left to the professionals. When your vehicle has transmission problems, what will you do? Go where you know. Go, go where you know, certified transmission. You toss it right back. And we are back, Merrill Blackburn Field, Josh Brown Stadium. 
We go to the top of the six, one to nothing. You see that correctly down on your Wallace Eye Associates scoreboard. Doug Gann, Chuck Perkins, Nick Magnano here in the 446 Sports booth watching ball one go to Peart. He struck out and he reached on an air in the first, struck out in the third. And now promptly grounds this one between Canyon and Seth for a base hit that Wellesley's going to get back in. His first base hit, second time to be on base. He's one for three on the afternoon. Jones on the pitcher will come in there, has a base hit in this game and struck out back in the, the line of the four straight strikeouts that Markle had. But, uh, boy, he's been doing a dandy, dandy job on the hill since that first inning. Yeah, he's pitched to, pitched to Jim and, uh, you know, get, keeps getting them. Keeps getting them out. He's only had what four base runners, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what did he, mm. let me, yeah, I'll count them up here in just there, a minute. There were three in one inning. No, I don't, did he, oh, got There's him. There's a good time. move, yeah. That left hand, you're, you're moving first move. He slid he right under him. the tag. Oh, him. they're saying they got him. Well, he got him when he came when by, he, came, and he, he yeah. missed the bag over here. All yeah. right, so he slides by the bag and is out. Yeah, he missed the original tag on him. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. So they'll issue that a caught stealing for the first out. And if you're scoring at home, you just have to figure that it went out on your own. Let's see. It went one, three, one, three, six is what it went. So that's not terrible. Pickleball. That pitch was. I was almost afraid no Kenyon pitch. may have held on to it a little bit too long. Yeah, yeah, that's what I had thought. But then I don't think he put as much of a throw on it as he needed to. And, uh, and and Peart was getting down the line rather quickly. But they teach you that if you're going to steal a base off of a left-hander, you're going first move. You, that's what you're looking at. You know, when it's a right-handed pitcher, you're looking at front and back heel. That one. How big is that in. now? Boy, that's huge. <laughs> Epnet gets that one in. And yep. That is so big now because that would be runners on first and second with no outs. What it uh, is good job is back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah. Or – first and third so keep an eye on keep an eye on that well Back. that's another thing too guys i mean a pitcher's not just there to throw strikes he's also there to affect the ball game in every way and i mean and that was that was what he did with that pickoff was just as good as a strikeout that's yep. correct Ooh. that one fouled back off of that, davis behind the dish did that get his helmet yeah i think it did was it the bat Cody. or was it the ball that got his helmet? I it was wonder. the ball. Okay. Yeah. It came off and went straight, came up that way. I think it hit his glove first and it came up in the. I okay. like the, I like what home plate ump is doing there is yeah. he walked the ball out to Markle and he does that to give Cody a minute to clear the cobwebs out. And Cody yeah. walked with him just to assure him that, reassure him that he was okay. Yeah. So good job behind the dish, Blue. Yep. Cody might have been walking out there with Blue, make sure he got back. Make sure he's <laughs> right. Ooh, I'll tell you all that story here in just a few minutes. Nothing and one the count here to Hoyt. Hoyt struck out and is 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Calling a timeout there. We had one that went off foul straight back, hit the umpire right in the mask. Right. And mm -hmm. he staggered back, staggered back, and yes. Ben Wade, our, our, our catcher, caught him. I remember seeing that on y'all's broadcast. Normally that one's called. Yeah, I wonder if that might have been a little outside with Cody's glove, but you're right. That's been that's been called all day. I'll leave it on that camera. See if we get another one over there. Get Nick back in his zone there. Yeah. He well, asked thanks. for a timeout, but he didn't get it. Nope. Oh. Instead, he gets that nifty yep. curveball. Wonder why he didn't. Why would he not give him the timeout there, Doug? Because of the where the pitcher's at, probably. Because of where the the pitcher was at. But you're right. He asked for it early in the count, or early in the the progression, and, and didn't get there. And so I think it was after he came set. Okay. When lifted foul over that first base dugout and out of play. Looked like Logan Paul's on that one too. Looks like he might be changing it up a little bit. That's from, the from one, that front side. That's the one thing that we told you that Lowe's able to do is that he just changes what he does. Oftentimes you see a pitcher that will do the same thing and get a little bit of a read on him, but you can't read. You can't read Logan Markle at all. 
repeat on the one two, right? Yes. Oh. Called it this time and see that's a ooh, ooh, ooh. that's a tough time to call it. Yeah. I'll tell you something like that too, you're you you'd you'd rather Logan just throw it. Right. You know, instead of you know, to risk any injury instead there. Instead of stopping right, uh, right. that quick it were kind of a reverse quick twitch stop. Swung on and missed, and nothing stopping with that strikeout. And we'll count them up here. One, two. Ninth strikeout of the afternoon. Number 15. For Logan Markle. Yep, Craig Chamberlain stands in there. Pitched the game on uh, Tuesday night, Thursday night, Craig. Thursday night for Rapids. Playing third base for the Mustangs today. Ow. Ooh, hammers that one off of that back wall. Dang. Right where we would have been. That's why that net's up there. Yeah. And that's why your camera's up there, not mine. Right? <laughs> that OBS bot's a tough little thing. Yeah. Until it takes a shot. That's right. Then it just gets loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Down low in that one. Wow. Somewhere there's a good bar joke in there. Mm. <laughs> one ball and one strike. We are sailing through this one. Top of the six. We play. You see it on your Wallace I Associate scoreboard. Warriors lead this one one to nothing. Both pitchers pitching a dandy one this afternoon. That one ground back over to where Ladner and Brown and those guys are. I think that was Ladner that came up fielding that yeah. one. I'm glad Ladner was throwing it to his own pitcher. <laughs> he, right. had some, he had some heat behind that one. <laughs> <laughs> one, two count to Chamberlain. Chamberlain has struck out both plate appearances today. Unable to figure out the left-hander. That might have been a changeup. He just didn't kind of come around on. Got somebody in the hammock over here on the live oak trees to the left in the between here and the the oh, yeah. airplanes. Sure is. <laughs> well, that's just life. The that cocoon. Is. Could be in my hammock if Doug wouldn't have <laughs> called, would... called me out last night. Good, Good pitch. looking pitch. Strike three. Down on strikes for the third time. Takes the caller. Does Chamberlain and that will do it for Rapids in the top of the six. Do up for your Warriors, bottom six. It's B. Wells, it is Brady McDaniel and Logan Markle when we come back. For a lifetime of the best possible vision, look to Wallace Eye Associates, where our tradition of eye care excellence in Senla spans nearly 40 years. From your next family eye exam to cataract and glaucoma evaluations, trust your vision to the experienced eye professionals at Wallace Eye Associates. Call Wallace Eye Associates today at 318-448-4488 to schedule your next eye evaluation. Braden Wells will lead things off for the Warriors in the bottom half of the six. Doug Gann, Chuck Perkins, Nick Magneto on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon. That one is in there for strike one. Johnson and Markle have been lights out in this one today. Um, this is one of those pitching performances that you really you know, love to sit back and watch on a Saturday afternoon. Yes, sir. Wells so it looks like through that one. Go ahead. Looks like we have Adelise and Cooper 
court right in the in the bullpen. That one grounded foul, and you, you got to believe. So if you're looking ahead, it is five, six, seven, due up for due up for Rapids in the top of the seventh. You got to believe you trot Markle back out there, unless he gets into some trouble. I'd like to add a run or two here and get you a little bit of insurance in this game. There you get a look at Adelies and uh, Adelies and who is out there throwing? Cooper like Courtright. Cooper I think. Courtright. Yeah, Coop came in and threw yesterday. Swung through that one and missed and down on strikes as well. And let's count them up for Johnson as well. Number nineteen. One, two, three. Four, five, six, five, five strikeouts on the afternoon for Johnson. Bless you, Chuck. And Brady McDaniel was standing in. And he watches that one go just wow. above the strike zone. If you'd have told me coming into this game with this wind like this, uh. blowing out, there wasn't going to be a home run, I'd have been shocked. I'd have been shocked as well. Practice my home run call all morning. <laughs> You know something else. Not only is he, you know, doing a curveball, but he, he's he's got a changeup in there too. That really, really had us off a little bit today. Again, just the one run that it was allowed, and that was a leadoff walk. So he walked runners back to back, and if you'll mm -hmm. remember, there was that error out in right field that the ball was dropped. Swung through that one. Yeah, that changeup is. I don't remember seeing that as much early in the game. It looks like that's something he's that more comfortable with. Well, and you've got to change it around when you get second and third times mm -hmm. through the lineup. That's a heater up high, wouldn't it? Trying to get Brady to chase that one. Good eye, Brady. Feels the count up. He hit into a double play and lined out to center field in his two at bats. Way to battle. Fights that one off and fouls it back into that backstop that we said is very close. Gives us fits on getting our camera angle mm. just right. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> I think we've got I think we've got that one for you. That's a good look at it there. You can almost look and see what's in the uh, in Blue's pocket there of how much money's got in his wallet. Almost. That one down on strikes. It's been there a lot. Took a break from it. But uh, that's strikeout number seven. Yeah, I don't like it, Doug, but it, he has been, it's been all game. I think that one was low, but it has been all game. Yeah, Brady thought it was low as well. And Logan Markle, pitcher of record for the Warriors, stands in there. Help yourself, young man. Help yourself. That one definitely was a strike. It was higher than some of the other ones have been, but it was right down the pipe and at the knees. Yellow. No confusion with a low strike there. <laughs> that one misses just just out of the zone high. I think he just finally figured out where your camera is up there, Doug. You think he's throwing it? It's like hit the bull. Yeah. It's just hit the bull. Go for the horn. <laughs> Go for the horn. Oh, me, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Yes, Fouled indeed. back down and quickly one ball, two strikes. Jones, look, I am so impressed with the work that Johnson has done. Very much so. This one's coming to see us. Good eye there by Logan. Yeah, if that one misses outside over into that other batting uh, batter's box. John saw already comes forward. There's that little pause. There you go. And lift it out into left field, Markle. Look, good, good two out, two strike now piece of hitting the there. Warriors, number five, Talon Epnet. Talon Epnet stands in there, and that is the one. It's been three. Uh oh. Seventh base runner is all in. Okay. Look. Is that the go. third hit, Doug, or how many hits? All um, right, so there's a base hit here. That question? Oh, that's right. That wasn't it. No hitter question. No, that's not a no hitter question. Chuck. Chuck. 
The two hits? Well, just nothing but three balls in the first inning, or three walks in the first inning led to the run. Walk in the second. Walk in the third. Well, as I live and breathe. Is that the first that hit? That may be the first base hit. It was reached on an air here. It was a walk there. Walk there. Walk. Ground into a double play is what he did there. It's the first hit of the game for the <laughs> Warriors. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Comes in the six, and it comes from Logan Markle. Throw down to first, not in time, and that one misses. Goodness gracious. He looked back through this again, but that is, that breaks up the no hitter. And boy, that's a really tough one. You're throwing a no hitter and losing the ball game. How did he get on in the first inning to score the first run? Walk. Walk. Okay. Yeah. Four pitch walk. Hey, he, walk. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all. And then Cook walked mm. right behind him. Yeah, he him. walked the first two. Yeah. Then there was an error that Canyon Wright had that the right fielder dropped. Maddox hit into a fielder's choice and the double play, and that was it. And the Warriors reached with a Talon Epnet walk in the second. Squaring around the bunt. Pulls that one back. In the third inning, it was a one, two, three inning. In the fourth inning, Braden walked. And then there was an error on the pitcher. And in the fifth inning, there was a walk to Canyon. That was the first base hit of the game tonight for wow. the Warriors in the top of the, in the bottom of the sixth. That one pounded into the ground and foul. Wow, goodness gracious. And that compares to one, two, three, four, five base hits for Rapid. So Rapid has out hit them five to one, but it's been the walks and we'll count those up for you in a moment too. Cause there have been a number of those and that's the difference though. And there's a one ground over to shortstop, bobbles it there and everybody's safe. So the Warriors, that's an error on the shortstop. So that never reached there. He's reached twice on errors. And Jack Powell will come in there. But the Warriors today have won. Little visit to the mound. Six walks for the Warriors, one hit, and they've reached on three errors. So it's the errors that have done rapids in today. Good job of LaCasse to come out there and just say, hey, you're throwing the ball well. Let's uh, let's just keep doing that. Throw me a ground ball here and get out of the inning. Which you just did. <laughs> Which you just did. The Warriors have uh, have done good through the years of making people pay. Well, and that plunks him right on the outside of the owl. I can't imagine that's what he asked him to do. <laughs> no, not at all. Well, you know, the thing is that play to the shortstop. I mean, you kind of wonder, OK, yeah. is he thinking, is it hard enough for me to get him at second? OK, or do I, am I going to first and just that pause? But you know, you got your senior right here. Now you're at the top of the order and you have Cody Davis who has hit the ball hard. Both times he's hit it. He had the four pitch walk, has scored the game's only run today. Johnson rocks back and delivers this one to Davis. Davis lines it over to second base and again hits the ball hard. But Rapids will come up. Mm. Mm. In the top of the seventh, just trailing by one. The Warriors leave. The base is loaded here in the sixth. Had an opportunity to open things up. Due up in the seventh for Rapids. It's Marler, it's Lewis, and it's Caleb when we come back. Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier. Transactions are getting safer. And you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today.
Mr. Hutton. And we are back, top of the seventh we go, Merrill Blackburn Field here at Josh Brown Stadium on the historic grounds of England Air Park. They call it the Burn out here, named after Merrill Blackburn, long time supporter and, and friend. And I don't know if that any of that is, is intense enough to say what the Blackburns meant to this, uh, this school in this area. Back-to-back, -back, good looking pitches in there for strikes and quickly ahead, nothing in two to Marler. This is five, six, seven, you said? This that? is five, six, seven. Oh, oh. nifty curveball. Oh, ah, Lee. Wee. That one, uh, again, missed over the heart of the plate for ball one. Well, it's on that good pitcher cam there, too, looking over the top of it. Marco delivers this one. Fastball misses low. That's one where the batter kind of don't even, you just kind of close your eyes waiting for the and listen ball to hear or strike. Right. That's it. Straight up fooled. A little makeup, Avon calling, and that's the strikeout looking. <laughs> strikeout number 10 for that one. I might not be invited back here. There's multiple reasons for this one today, but that is out number one. He just gave the first base coach a signal about this, saying it was this far outside, which. Okay. And it may have been, it but it made up for the one a little earlier. <laughs> it was. He, yeah, I think that's what it was. I think he should have been struck out on the third strike. It just took the fifth strike. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or it's the one. fifth pitch, excuse fifth me. Pitch, yeah. uh, Lewis oh. has one of the five hits coming up and getting it is Cook. He'll throw it a first in time. That's two up and two down. And uh, Markle making quick work of the Mustangs here. And that'll bring Caleb up. Caleb was retired by Canyon back in the fifth and then doubled out there in the gap. Back in the second inning, Markle looking to go the distance in this one. And uh, ball one. Low in the dirt. The dirt, they call it here, uh, Nick. That's that turf that looks like dirt. Yeah. That one misses. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so I'm an equal opportunist Ooh. on there, too. I thought that was inside, and it's called a strike. Swung through that one and missed, okay, and so Brad Peets now, down huh? to their final strike in this one. Lowe stands there ready to go. He gets that ball back quick, and now the lefty delivers this one. Ground ball to Cook. Cook is going to play it off the hop and bobble it around over to first, not in time. And, and I don't think Caleb was diving towards first as much as he would just uh, ran out of his shoes. It looked like he was stumbling a little bit right there at the last little second. They'll award that error to Cook on that one. He would have had the out if he fields it cleanly. So an E4 there. That'll bring us down to Spencer, who has struck out and then popped out to Cook at second base. Again, in a 1-0 game, that represents the tying run over there at first now, but a strike yes. to Spencer, who bats out of the eight hole for Rapides. Slight breeze blowing out here today, but insignificant to say the least as effect on a baseball. It's great for us. Chuck didn't even have to bring his little fan with him this no, time. No, I did not. Chuck had him a little fan hooked up blowing <laughs> on him yesterday. Yeah. Wonder if the I asked Doug, I said, it works pretty good. He said, I don't know, it's not blowing on me. <laughs> I wouldn't know. The hammock crew could get that foul ball for us. <laughs> right. Nothing in two to Spencer. Marco looks at first and delivers this one now. Yeah, if you see where our center fielder just, they had just moved him over here to right center. Looks like they're gonna be going out, pitching outside here. And they had that very exaggerated shift. This is just a fundamentally well-played game today. The pitchers have been dominant in this one. Got him. And struck out looking there to end it. That is officially the 11th strikeout on the afternoon. The Warriors win this one. Uh, it may have been the quickest seven-inning game on history of Grace Christian. I'll have to look back at it as this thing 
went an hour and 44 minutes, 46 minutes, I'm sorry, an hour and 46 minutes on this one. Now, they've had some 15-run three-inning games that, that have finished a little bit quicker than that, but I think that is the fastest that we've ever wrapped one up here uh, at, at all. Well, they're trying to live up to the other meaning of the name, the burn, because they were on fire today. I have to tell you, gentlemen, I've been here three. This is my third Grace game this year, and this this is – that they've all been under two hours. I'm just saying. Just come, saying. We'll, come be, more back. Often. Just we'll saying. be back here next time, yeah, because we've been in some of those that, is, that have lasted a while. Uh, call those human rain delays. There's barn done. burners, huh? Yes. So just the one hit for the Warriors on the day, and that was, I guess that was McDaniel in that. Uh, no, Markle had that base hit on there. So he had a base hit. And uh, 11 strikeouts on the afternoon. Warriors played, a, played the kind of game that they needed to. You know, coming off of a 7-2 win against them on Thursday night, you knew Rapides and Coach Chaston Lacaz was not going to, to come in and, and roll over on this one by any means. But, uh, goodness, what an effort by Johnson and what an effort by Markle. Both pitchers go complete games today. And, Doug, let's talk about that being if what the weather holds out, which, I mean, We've seen crazier things. If the weather holds out for for the games this week, Markle going seven is big because I mean, they play Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I think, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then I think Saturday and then Monday. So, you know, just having the arms, you know, not having to use the arms, that's, that's great. Coach Brown bringing uh... – Bringing low out with him today, and uh, and and there was no doubt in our mind uh, who he was going to bring with him, and we'll we'll get an opportunity to visit with Coach Brown as soon as he gets that headset on, and as soon as we find him, there he is. We're visiting with uh, victorious head coach Josh Brown, and Coach uh, been through a lot of games, and boy, this was certainly one of them. This was uh, it was a lot of fun to watch Logan Markle on the on the mound today, striking out eleven. What a game! Hang on, we don't have – I don't have him, Chuck, in my ear. Coach, go ahead and talk for me. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you now. Yeah, he had his best stuff today. Um, you know, electric stuff, man. I mean, eighth grader mixed it up well. He had good command of curveball, slider, fastball, and uh, he, he did a great job, man. If, I'm glad he showed up today because, our, uh, you know, we couldn't buy any more runs for him. You know, I hated that. Look, uh, and, and I think as I'm looking through, because there were a couple errors, he may have had the only hit for the Warriors today. Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to go back and look at that. I'm not even thinking about that right now. I, I know when you get runners on base, you got to find a way to score them. And, uh, <laughs> That's all that, that I, I care about, you know, and I'm glad we got the win. But, yeah, that, that's rough. If I mean, give credit to the Johnson kid. I mean, I'll be honest, he did a good job keeping us off balance. Told you asked him that a while ago. Two guys showed up for their teams, and both offenses didn't do much. Well, and, and, and so you, you take a game like this, Coach, and you look at it, it was, de it was played so soundly on the hill and defensively. Their the center fielder makes that diving catch it would have done, and there were several balls that were hit. Cody hit a couple of them that were smashes at Chamberlain at third and then over at their second baseman that they catch on lines. Yeah, Cody, Cody pissed on two balls, to be honest with you. And then, and then Canyon, he had one that was a hard hit right at the kid, and he's asking me, he said, why did the short stop playing there? I'm like, dude. I mean, he's playing shortstop. Where you want him to play, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. That's baseball. You know, you can uh, – things don't go your way. You know, if there's a hit a little bit to the left or right, you may score a couple more runs. Just didn't happen. I'm just – I'm proud that our, our pitching and our defense showed up today. Indeed they did, Coach. Thank you. We'll talk about it. We'll dive into this a little bit more tomorrow. We'll be back at Buffalo Wild Wings at 5. Uh, let's stretch out a little bit into next week and look at that weather that's coming in. What do you guys have on tap, and what's that looking like? Like. Yeah, we're supposed to play Simpson Monday. Weather don't look too good. And then we got University Academy two games uh, next week. And uh, we got Westlake. And we're in the process of probably adding Barb, going to Barb next week. Um, me and Coach Caccini are trying to work out. We, we want to see what the weather does early in the week. But we're looking at adding a game with Barb. Uh, 
also next week, and then, you know, Westlake, and then finish up with West Washington next week. Well, if you head down there, I promise you we can get a good deal set up with meals at the Buffalo Wild Wings that's down there right next to the uh, the Barb campus. So uh, make sure if you guys set that game up uh, that – that they'll take that Mr. Caraway will take care of you guys. Oh, I know he will. And uh, heck, why don't 446 Sports come on in there? I know Coach Caccini will take care of us as well. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a deal. Let me know when that game is. And we must, last time I went to a game down at Barb was 2016, Coach. And there was a little bit of magic that happened down there. Yeah, so we may need to bring you back anyway. <laughs> hey, Absolutely. Coach, Coach, one question. Yep. That's, that's a great game for playoff baseball, going it, into the playoffs. Absolutely. You know, we've been in these kind of games the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, charter games, we had games that could have went either way. And, uh, you know, and then you're, you're talking about the Northwood Shreveport last week, Delk. And we've been in these games, and uh, it, it's only going to help you down the road. That's right. Indeed it is. Great bringing out uh, Logan Markle, and we'll visit with him just a minute. Coach, thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow night at Buffalo Wild Wings. Sounds good. good job, there Coach. you have it. You are watching the Warrior Roundup show and uh, visit with Coach Brown. And now we're going to visit with the winning pitcher on the afternoon, Logan Markle. And, Logan, congratulations on a big day. Thank you. Look, you had 11 strikeouts today, a couple of them that you fielded yourself as well. So he counted for a lot of it. Did the the – the great pitching of Johnson that threw for Rapids factor into it because it seemed like as you went along and saw the runs were not going to be there, you bared down a little bit. Yes, sir. I had a, I seen that we only had one run and I was trying to hold him the whole game. And indeed, you've done you've done that. Uh, it seemed like you changed a little bit of your approach to it there towards the tail end after you went through the lineup a couple of times and the, you knew they had seen you. Looked like you started bringing that curveball out a little bit more and moving it inside and out some. Yes, sir, I did. What uh, what does it mean to win a game like this? The defense played solidly solidly behind you. Had a great pick off of the young man a little bit earlier. To know that this fuels you on that end of the season run. Yes, sir, it's great. It gets me going because I've been struggling and uh, really been working on what I've been mess messing up on. Hey Logan, is that uh, is that a family member that's right there behind you? Oh, uh, that is Braden Wells. Oh, okay. Brother. I was gonna see if you can get him on camera, but no. Hey, great job. Uh, by our calculations. We show that you all, you had the only hit for Grace uh, yes. up until you know th th that you, it was a one hitter. So great job there. But also the thing, what I wanted at, towards the fourth, fifth, fifth uh, you know, from the fourth on, did you throw a change up a little more than you had been in the first uh, first think, three? I think I maybe threw like two, three change ups maybe. Okay, so it was more. So it was just the the the, the position of your curveball was probably a little different. Okay, well yes, from out here it looked like you might have been changing speeds, but great job, young man. It's fun to fun to watch you pitch. Yes, sir. Thank and, you. And Logan, that's one of the things that we've talked about from from early on in this. Not only do you have the four different pitches, but with the location and the speed change that you have all of them, it's like you throw about 16 pitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. Logan, we appreciate you stopping out with us today. You're a player of the game for today's game. And uh, make sure you make it out to Buffalo Wild Wings tomorrow. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you all. There you go. Logan Markle joins us here, uh, picks up the win on the day. And uh, great effort out there by Logan Markle. And, uh, and Coach Brown, you know, excited about Boy, if they pick up that, that game against Barb, that will certainly be a good one to go down and see. Yeah, I'd kind of heard I heard heard rumor about that, and uh, just didn't just didn't know if that was going to happen. But uh, that would definitely be a a good one and and fun to watch. Uh, did y'all went to Barb last time? Whenever you played there, right? 2016 okay. went there, and then they come up here and exacted revenge on the Warriors in the <laughs> in the 2018 season, I believe is what it was. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, it's always good to, to get down into the pomp and the circumstance and all of that. And we may very well find a way to get down there and do something from that Buffalo Wild Wings. So if they can put something together, that ought to make for a great trip. And who knows, we might do the, the Chikini Coaches Show next year from down in Lake Charles, who knows? Well, I, one thing I've learned since, since we started the Coaches Show there, is it is very hard to go wrong with the the all-american cheeseburger 
Okay. <laughs> Indeed it is. And the honey sriracha wings. Mm, if, mm. if if you guys like wings at all, I, I definitely recommend the honey sriracha. And I'm not a wing guy, but those are those are phenomenal. Indeed they are. So you have an opportunity to join us tomorrow at 5 p.m. We'll be out there for that show. And then, Nick, your group will come out there at 7 o'clock for the Menard baseball and softball shows that you will do. So it's a big night tomorrow night following being off last Easter, last week for Easter. Yeah, we got a few calories to catch up on, don't we? <laughs> no, not after <laughs> wow. the burgers today. That, oh, gosh, I don't uh, I don't know about that. Anyway, guys, it has been a great, great day. Uh, Rib Sandwich Magnano joined us here, and Welcome. as always, we appreciate that. So three games you've done this year, and all three have been under two hours? Under two hours. Chuck told me Chuck told me that last game. He said, man, he said, uh, the Doug's not going to like this because we're going we're gonna to be heading home. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm glad to see it. So you're welcome out here anytime. I'll, t I'll tell you that. What does Menard have on tap next week for we us? Have, uh, we have Grant at home on Monday and then Glenn Moore at home on Monday, both at 6 o'clock. And then they travel to, to Glenn Moore on Thursday for the, you know, the second round of the, of the district match there. And then, uh, then after that, you know, two games the following week. And, uh, and it's playoff time, gentlemen. And they have won how many since um – they are. They started out zero and five, right? Okay, and they are now uh, fourteen and eight. So they've they've fourteen they've, and three on that yeah, stretch. Fourteen and three on the stretch, and, and have only lost once, once since the since Blazing the, Wing Challenge. Yep. How many has the softball team lost? None. None. Yeah, they're That's fifteen. Correct. They're well, it depended on what. Depending on the seventies, they won fifteen. Their fifteenth yep. was this morning, and they'll be working on sixteen in a row this afternoon. And actually, they are they are sixteen of seventeen. But I think fifteen and I think fifteen in a row sounds better. But they actually have won. They've won sixteen of their last seventeen. Goodness wow. gracious! I might have to go out there and uh, and and sneak in on O. No, I can't do that because if I go out there and somehow they lose, yeah, I'll never be welcome back. Yeah, that's at uh, all. Yeah, somebody asked me. Said you do the softball games. I said I'm not going to do that to Coach Scully because <laughs> no, <laughs> if, if they lose, I don't want the blame there. If he, oh, if oh, how many hits he got, Magnano gets. <laughs> It's out there. Wow. He drove by the other day. I was setting up. He drove by on the golf cart. He said, don't mess it up, Nick. Don't <laughs> oh, mess it wow. up. <laughs> oh, that's about and they've been, right. They've been a lot of fun. And just, I mean, look, I mean, we, we, we enjoy doing this as a, as a group. But but if these coaches, Coach Brown, you know, Coach you know Scully, Coach Marks, you know, and then our football coaches, if they wouldn't allow us to do this, allow us to be part of their programs, then then we'd be all be sitting home. But uh, but this has been a fun ride. It, it has, you know, we we go out and do some Tioga softball as well, and 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 saw they they are. They are hot as, as firecrackers yeah. as well. They are, are rising up the ranks. They beat uh, eight to nothing. They they're ranked fourth now in Division One Select, and they welcomed in, oh, what was the name? Uh, Saint Saint uh, Saint Joe's Academy yes. out of Baton Rouge, Five the Red squad. Stickers, yep. that were ranked six. So a four versus six, and Lambert goes out there and beats them eight to nothing yep. in that game. And so they are they're rolling right along. Had just lost to Buckeye, uh, I think, earlier. Have played St. Thomas more well. And, well, there's just a lot of great sports going on around here. They played Calvary uh, was that a earlier. They played Calvary, Calvary one to nothing. That's one right. Nothing was a game was that a halt? What, what, what was the thing before that game where the two coaches went met at the mound? What was that? So, Saint, Coach Saint Woodard's Academy. wife. Yep. And the coach for who, who is assistant coach, and she calls the pitches. She's the pitching coach there. And the St. Joe's Academy's coach, Coach Henley, were teammates at Northwestern. Oh, okay. Back when they were in college there. And uh, both of them went into the N Club, which is the Hall of Fame there for Northwestern. Wow. And, uh, and so but them getting together, and they didn't, neither of them know, knew about it. And Coach Woodard uh, did the, the, the really cool thing by getting them together and, uh, and, and honoring them a little bit. Gave them T-shirts to commemorate the game as well. And so uh, that, was, that was thrilling to see that one. Yeah. And, and just to kind of rehash some of their stuff, too, so – They've been in a tournament yesterday and today for a Buckeyes tournament out at Wardville. Right. They played Benton yesterday. They beat them. Uh, I want to say maybe run ruled or it was eight to two or something like that. Um, they were playing Logan Sport, which is the number one in select division three, I believe. Right. They were played them today at two o'clock. So that one should be about wrapping up. And then they have a grant. We'd love, for, we'd love for that to be a rematch on district because that would give them a chance to share the title. 
but they only play one district game, even if they're replaying the same team. Right. They only play one district game, but they're they're hopefully for, for um, redemption game, and Grant's ranked up there in that uh, division as well. And then Monday and Tuesday, if weather permitting, they have Winfield, which is no slouch in itself, and then Neville also Monday and Tuesday, weather permitting. Tuesday's the last day for softball regular season. Playoffs start Friday. <sighs> Wow. Seems like all the way back in August when we started this school year to think that here it is April already and this yeah. is about to wrap up. We'll have the ASL State Championships coming up uh, the 27th and 28th, yeah. I believe, or 26th. Anyway, that last weekend in April, we'll have that, but a lot of baseball and softball in between there before we wrap it up for this season. There's Guys, uh, it's been uh, it, it's been a tremendous day. Looks like they're getting ready to start a JV game out like here it. as the crowd. I thought at first the crowd stuck around to, to hear the, the Warrior wrap-up show, I but I'm going to think that's not the case in this one, but I do know that they've kept the grill going, Nick, so if you need another hamburger <laughs> or something, that's certainly going to be there. Guys, that'll wrap it up. Nick, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You it's been a pleasure from my man Chuck Perkins. Nick Magnano, I am Doug Gann. God bless you all, and good night.